Hello investment trader, welcome back to another episode of Live Day Trading Recap. So this recap is going to be a little bit longer than usual because after the recap, I like to go over some of the stocks I've been watching for days, even weeks, just to get ready to make that potential trade. I'm talking about swing trade here or even potential day trade. Um, yep, you heard it right. I've been watching for days. Like I said, some of these stocks I just watch because I'm waiting for the perfect daily candlestick formation of a reversal. So far, it has not shown any confirmation yet. That's why I'm still watching it. So I want to share with you guys some of those stocks. So let's just roll the footage. So at the beginning of the open, you can see right here, right? It's almost 8 o'clock already, uh, Pacific Standard Time. So we're roughly about an hour and a half into trading, and I still have not yet, yet to make a move. And the whole entire time, I've been sitting here on the computer screen and just watch all these stocks took off because I just play a little bit too safe sometimes. Like, you know, like right here, just took off. And I sit there like, Oh man, you know what I mean? I went, like I said, I'm, I try like a chicken, and I admit I try like a chicken. <laughs> so let me roll the footage. I think it'd be pretty fun. And you can hear my voice on the background. Cause I included my voice this time, and you can hear me chit chat with my other, my friend in the background. So, so I, I apologize in advance. PGR fall, 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 bull trap, bull trap. Now it's getting attractive. Now you may ask, well, why you jump in here but not in here? Well, you have to go to the daily to see it. But I'm about to make a move here pretty soon. Remember, I've been watching this since the market opened. Still have not yet to make a move. But right here, it's getting bloody attractive. <laughs> Ideally, I should have entered right here, but like I said, I play a little too chicken sometimes. Right there, that's why I should have entered, but oh well. So now that I crossed through the resistance, right? My sell target is up here, about the 40 cent, because this is the moving average right here. It's going to act as a resistance. So my regret here was I should have bought 2,000 shares instead of 1,000 shares. Yeah, so that's my, my regret on this trade. I should have sized up. So let me pass forward a little bit. So my friend was like, hey man, why don't you take partial? I'm like, uh, sure, why not? I'll take partial. <laughs> Alright, I'll just go back there and take partial. I normally don't take partial though. So I'll take partial at 30 cents. Maybe 
out increase the stop on the Sasso's um Aw oh, damn it, that's not with the target at thirty five. I'm, okay, now it's 40. I was referring to this right here. So basically what my friend said, I took partial a little bit too early. I kind of agree because it's a solid green, but this resistance right here kind of scares me, you know? And I said it to the, when I said look to your left, I meant this right here. That's why I have yesterday and today, this right here. You can see that, right? Based on yesterday's pre, uh, price action. That's why I decided, you know what, this could be strong resistance. But I was wrong because the stock after that continued to go to the upside. So my friend was correct. Now. Remember, trading is all about probability. You have to do this over and over and over. How often when you buy down here, the stock does this? Over and over. It's pretty slim. Maybe like 50%, 4%, or 60%, right? Because most of the time it hits this, it continues to the downside. Remember, today is a heavy red day for the Dow and S&P and the NASDAQ. The Dow down over 300 points. PGSR is in the, I think it's in the, the S&P. It's, it's one of those blue chips, you know what I mean? So that's, that's a profitable trade, small little gain, like 300 something. Next trade, uh, Roku. So Roku, look at my, let me look at my time stamp. I think it's like eight something. Right here. So I, I enter Roku. Let me go back to the footage. Just a little bit. I pass forward a little too much. about right here so Roku it's falling now this will happen when you don't wait for a confirmation I pay the price I took a loss on this because I didn't wait for confirmation remember I, I said yesterday on my other video because I got too excited now this will happen when you know when you get too excited to trade right <laughs> so I saw a pin bar remember a pin bar does not mean a reversal signal right you still need to wait for the confirmation so that's my biggest mistake on this trade right here and it cost me a thousand dollars ish Looks really good, right? The entry right there for candlestick formation, but no confirmation. Yeah, hopefully it'll bounce. That's what I thought right there. It was gonna bounce right here. A higher high the next candle. But nope, that didn't happen. Let me pass for a little bit. And then this happened. You notice it fall real quick. At that time, I didn't really scared. I just waiting for the, the candle to finish. Um, I'm talking about the one minute. I was watching the one minute too. Then it bounced. So right here, what I'm looking for is if it breaks below this 56, I have to cut my loss. And I did. I cut my loss. Because it's getting near my stop loss. And I use mental stop. I do not use a hard stop. So I already have my order ready. Once it breaks below, uh, I think 56, I need to cut my loss. So that's like 1300 loss, I think, ish. So that kind of sucks. So I ended the day with a negative thousand dollars because I already made 300 here.
whole entire time I was watching this right here. Should have known, cause low a high, low a high, slightly low a low, but it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, that sucks, but I have to do it. I have to follow the rules. Once it break below, I should have exit earlier, but I was just trying to give it time, but no. So yep, so that's the recap. Now let's check it out on, let's see what this, the whole entire day, what this stock actually did. So PGR. I sold a little bit too early, as you can see, right? I bought it right there. I nailed the entry. I failed the exit. That's why you need to take partial, right? <laughs> like my friend said. <laughs> Roku. I enter right there. I cut my loss right there. And yeah, if you're not hold it throughout the day, I still underwater. But then I wouldn't do that because it is real quick after all. It's pretty risky to do that. But yeah, internet right here. Yeah, that, that's kind of sucks. After that, I just call it a day. I, you know, it's ready. Like by that time, it's like you know midday already. So it is what it is. One K loss. I don't want to even show it because I hate to see red. <laughs> okay, so the stock I want to cover right now is the trading ideas. So we've been talking. Well. And I've been, I've been talking about Wish for you know several days already. So you know Wish has an earning and a miss earning, right? Still has yet not made a move, still waiting, but not getting attractive yet. Notice as a cash that you're still going down, and they create a lower low, and maybe it is the same high, but still this is not a confirmation. We still have to wait. There's a gap right here, but that doesn't mean it's going to bounce real quick. We still have to wait for the confirmation. So no move on Wish yet. Next one, Amazon. Oh man, it's getting laggy now on my laptop. Amazon, yesterday was very unique, right? It did a bullish pin bar. I I, I, I nailed the bottom yesterday too. You watched my previous video. I bought somewhere down here and I saw like in the two, 240 and it bounced all of almost 300. I'm like, what the heck? But today went back down. Still, but look, look, look at the daily formation. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. What does that mean? It's still going down. No reversal yet. Although the stochastic is still low, we still need that confirmation. Yesterday, I thought this was the confirmation right here. Sorry, uh, a reversal signal, not a confirmation, a reversal, reversal signal. We still need a higher high and a higher low. But unfortunately, it didn't format today. So Amazon, no trade on that yet for a swing. Have to be very patient and wait for it. Next one, match. Now this one is from one of my friends that alerted in the chat room. Cause I, was, I wasn't watching this, but I like what I see. So match for the past, what, two weeks already? It could, each one of these represent one day. So more than 10 candles already, I think. I don't want to count so many red candles. But anyways, the point is, it went from 160, 165, almost 170, all the way down to 130. That's $40 drop, which is pretty significant. It busts through all these moving averages. Very nice. See, again. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, la, 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 right? All, all the way down. Still, no reversal. This looks like a reversal right here, right? Just like how uh, Roku got me. Remember how the pin bar and the next thing it went down? We have to wait for the higher high, but not yet. But it's getting very, very attractive. Let me go out to the weekly and see what we can get. The weekly not, not look so bad. I mean, it looks okay. 
support right here, we're heavy support. We can see that right there, right? If I can, yeah, you can, I don't think I have to draw the line, do I? Nah, I don't want to draw it. But yeah, it's right here. So now we need to, on the daily, we need the confirmation. But notice the weekly here. The weekly take a little bit longer time for this to curve back up. So I'm thinking it's probably going to stay around here for a couple more days just to see where it decided to go back up. Resistance could be around here, 140. Other than that, it'll probably go back down. We don't know. We need to wait for more candle because on the daily, it has no, has no confirmation yet. It's still a falling knife. To catch a falling knife, you need it. first you need a reversal signal. And then you need the confirmation. So that's match. I mean, that'd be on my watch list. TTCF. Very popular stock among YouTubers. Still, huge gap down. Do not buy on first huge red down candle. That's one of my rules. Do not buy it. No matter how low it go, let it fall. Don't catch it. The next day, lower high, lower low. Not good. Next day, lower high, lower low. Still not good. Maybe look at the stochastic. Still going down. Not yet curve. I'm looking at something like this. The curve. You see? The curve. Because that is where the stocks are going back up. Or it is low, but it could get lower. So don't catch it yet. Unless you want to get burned. <laughs> Next one. WW. I think we just covered that, right? Amazon. No, we call Amazon. LMT. Leaky Martin. This is really a... Uh, I tried to stock in the past several times, but this is getting very attractive for me now because it's on falling, right? And notice here, it's been, been bouncing around 1360 for a little bit because of this right here, I think, the support. But stochastic slowly curving up, very slowly, but it's getting very attractive around this level, around 360. So this will definitely be on my radar. On top of that, it already bounced off of that right there on the bigger time frame. This is, now, this is the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame will look very attractive. Stochastic is almost almost curving up, but not yet. But we are getting there. Hopefully, it fall down to down here. That'd be nice. And then it curve back up. So this would be in my watch list. We need more confirmation. That's what I'm trying to say. Alibaba. One of my favorite stocks I like to trade back in the day or even until now is Alibaba. But lately, you all know what's going on with Alibaba, right? Due to Chinese regulation and stuff like that. So right now, it's a pretty risky trade. But... If we know what we're doing, we can capitalize it. So Alibaba, I bought some here on my previous trade. I'll, I'll show that later, maybe another video. I bought some here on this day and I sold some here. Now it's going back down. Again, do not cash the gap down. Just let it fall. Notice the cash that is still sloping down. No sign of reversal yet. So that means it still could fall. It fall, I already predict that it might fall to 170. I did not expect it hit it that quickly. <laughs> it really did. But so if we zoom more out to Alibaba, I would not be surprised if it hit 170, which is like probably tomorrow. Now, worst case scenario, no, not probably not the worst case scenario, you know, but you get the idea, right? That, it'd be funny. Now, I said it's a little more funny, right? Hit 150 or even 120, 130. I don't know. Anything is possible. But for now, there is no confirmation for Alibaba yet. So, therefore, I'll be watching this stock very close, closely to see any kind of reversal signal. I'm looking for a higher high, a doji or something like that. So that would be definitely on my watch list. And then one last one, which is Roku. The one I took $1,000 loss today. Roku has been punished quite a lot lately too. Look, like 10 days already, a uh, red day, right? All this right here, very attractive. Notice here's a doji, uh, more like a cross, but Today is a higher, higher, and higher low. Stochastic's a little sloping up, but not yet. We need a confirmation. We, 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 need, we want at least curve up to a 30, a little bit more. You know, I, I prefer more candle. Now, I also prefer go down to this level over here to retest the 200 EMA. Okay, this is 200 right here. That'd be nice. The farther away, you see this moving average right here? Let me go down with the momentum, okay? The momentum is pretty much just the uh, 20 and the 6 EMA. No, uh, can I zoom in to show you again more carefully? What I want to see is this uh, candle move kind of far away from this moving average. Kind of like this right here. Let me uh, zoom out. Can I find something? Like, kind of like this right here. See that? 